All right, mate, welcome to Accumulate Episode 5, and we're through to the World Cup quarterfinals. And before we start looking at today's predictions, I've got to admit, I've won another Accumulator. This time it was my one, not FIFA's one that came in. I got 24, 25 quid off a £2 bet because I managed to guess every one of the eight qualifiers for the quarterfinals correctly. Get in. You can see on the screen now my guesses and FIFA's guesses from the last episode. I got all eight of my predictions correct, which leaves me on 20 points now. FIFA started last episode on 10 and has ended on 15 because it only got five of the eight predictions correct. This episode, we're going to be trying to predict who is going to go through to the semi-finals. But before we start, don't forget, if you want any FIFA Ultimate Team coins, make sure you check out fifacoinstock.com. There's a link in the description. Okay, so as normal, we're going to simulate the games on FIFA, let them predict who's going to go through. I'm going to give you my predictions. And then at the end of the episode, I've got a little surprise for you, mate. Some more predictions coming from a third party and we can watch and enjoy them together. Let's crack on with the simulations. Okay, starting things off with the epic European clash between France and Germany, and FIFA thinks Blaise Matuidi is going to put them 1-0 up with a cheeky little header in the 12th minute, and you know what? It doesn't think there's going to be another goal. It thinks the game's going to finish like that, and France are going to go through ahead of the hotly tipped Germans, and you know what? I agree with them. I think it's hard to call, but I'm also going for a France win. Next up is Brazil versus Colombia, a massive South American clash. Now, Brazil are hosting a tournament, but many people think Colombia are going to do them. And Colombia do go 1 0 up with a goal from Zuniga. And then later, they double their lead when Jackson Martinez does a little bit of cheeky work, lays the ball off to Sanchez, who hits one and makes it 2 0 to the Colombians. And FIFA thinks it will stay like that. And don't get me wrong, I 100% understand why people are backing Colombia for this game. I just think there's something untangible about Brazil playing in Brazil. I think they're going to go through to the semis. I'm saying Brazil for the win. Argentina versus Belgium goes all the way. 120 minutes with no goals. You know what that means? Penalty shootout. And you can see here, it goes down to the wire until the last penalty is taken by one Mr. Kevin Morales. He has to score to keep Belgium in it. And look what he does. Embarrassing. So FIFA thinks Belgium are going to go out. And as much as I'd love Belgium to win the whole thing, I'm going with my head on this one. I'm also going to say Argentina to win. And the final quarterfinal is Netherlands versus Costa Rica. This also goes the distance all the way to penalties. Some good penalties, some bad penalties. But at the end of it, FIFA is suggesting there's going to be a shock, shock result. It is saying that Costa Rica are going to beat the Netherlands on penalties. Watch. If he scores it, they score it, they win. According to FIFA, Costa Rica are going to win. I can't see past the Netherlands. I'm saying a Dutch win. So there you have it. The guesses are in, the simulation is done, and the accumulators have been placed. First accumulator we're going to look at is mine. Now, I've upped the stakes a little bit because I've won my last two accumulators. I thought I'd make it a little bit more interesting. Plus, because we're doing less games now, the odds aren't as good. So I'm putting £5 on both mine and FIFA's accumulator. My accumulator is only going to make me about 25, 26 quid off a £5 bet, which isn't great, but that's largely because I've gone with some of the more favoured teams. But FIFA's accumulator is a much more exciting prospect. A £5 bet on that one will bring home about £166. Hello. That means it's roughly odds of about 33 to 1, which isn't too bad at all, considering there's only four quarterfinals. Once again, as last episode, we're betting on to qualify. That doesn't mean it's the result after 90 minutes. It means which of the two teams go through to the semi-finals. And before we finish, I've got a special guest or two special guests that are also going to do their predictions for the quarterfinals. Please say hello to the legendary Jimmy Conrad and Hugh Wizzy from Kick TV. What's going on, Spencer Owen? Here are my predictions for your World Cup accumulator. Okay, Germany, France, I'm going to say Germany 3, France 1, simply down to the fact that Per Mertesacker will lock up the defence and the creativity of Messer Ozil and the beastly Schweinsteiger with the incredible Philipp Blom and Thomas Muller uh, will be too much for the French to deal with. Hi, this is Jimmy Conrad from Kick TV. Hi, Spencer Owen. Colombia is going to beat Brazil. Yes, I said it. That's probably going to ruin the rest of our trip because nobody here in Brazil is going to be happy. But Colombia is going to win 2-1. Thomas Rodriguez is going to be the key player once again. Argentina versus Belgium. The European sides haven't fared too well so far, so I'm going to lump for Argentina. I'm going to say Argentina 2, Belgium 1. Costa Rica is going to lose to the Dutch. 
two to one. The dream is going to end, which makes me sad to say because I'm a huge supporter of CONCACAF. That's my prediction, Spencer. They're probably totally wrong, but I hope you've enjoyed. I've been Hugh Wizzy. Back to you. So, whose predictions do you like the best? Mine, FIFA's, or the guys from Kick, Jimmy and Hugh? Leave a comment below with who you think is going to go through to the semi-finals, who's going to win the World Cup, and like the video if you've enjoyed what I've done for you here today. I'll see you when you're older. Don't go changing.